For many generations, Egyptians have been suffering under the cruel fist of Persia. Babylon's grip upon our sacred lands is, however, not as strong as it once was. While our accursed oppressors have been busy meddling in the politics of Greece, a series of revolts in Egypt has finally managed to loosen the hated Persian yoke. Now, however, word has reached Pharaoh Ochorus that a force commanded by Fleet Admiral Conan, a Greek lackey receiving Persian gold, has been dispatched by Ataxerxes II and is headed for our shores. Pharaoh Ochorus has wisely determined that a strong naval presence in the Nile is needed to thwart this incursion. As royal governor of Tanis, for the next ten years, you must build strong ships and train stalwart troops to guard the approaches by water and land. You will need to establish a trade route within Komi to import sturdy wood with which to construct a fleet. Copper can also be imported from Enkomi, on the island of Cyprus. This trade route is precarious at best, as it runs close to the Levant coast, under control of our foe. Supplying the Pharaoh with needed supplies should help to supplement your income. Be aware that funds are tight in these troubled times. To succeed, you must be savvy in business and trade, as well as a skillful commander. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh, a new era. We are here at Tanis. This is our second survival mission, I guess you could say. The last one we had to survive for seven years. This one we have to survive for ten. No matter what, we can't min uh, finish the mission before that. This is the rebirth of a navy. We need a population of 2,500, a culture rating of 30, a kingdom rating of 45, and a prosperity rating of 40. And of course, we need to survive. So let's take a look here. No monuments or anything to build. This is a military mission. We have this plot of land over here. As far as I can tell, you can't get to this one at all. The same with here in the middle. It'd be quite nice, but no way to get up there. We can, however, get to this area in the southeast. A lot of metal land. We can also put something like that right there. More metal land all around. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. We have a courthouse, we have a scribal school and library. So we do have that culture ability. Um, no other real changes. For food and farming, we have pomegranate and fish. All right, for production, of course, we have our shipwright, clay pit, reed gatherer, brewer, potter, and papyrus maker so it's going to be very similar to the last mission we just did big doll where we're going to be importing barley make beer sell beer etc for the gods we have osiris Ra, and set with Ra being our patron deity even though this is a military mission we're going to be praying to set a whole bunch for the military aspect we have walls and towers gatehouses an academy a recruiter archers and infantry so no chariots Weaponsmith, Bowyer, and of course our transport and warship wharves. Entertainment goes up to the Senate House. Now let's take a look at the world map here. Whole bunch of cities, but we can only trade with three. We have Mindefer right here, which will buy pottery, beer, and papyrus. Those are our three exports, and they will also sell us barley. And it is only a land trade route, and it's 150. So we're going to open that right now. Probably our initial export would be pottery. That's 4,000, so that's a decent amount. That's basically almost two trade routes right there. And Comey will buy beer and they will sell us copper and wood, which is very good. And then Athens over here will sell us weapons, but they will also buy papyrus. And that is a water trade route. So we're going to hold off on that one. We'll hold off just a little bit on Encomi just to see where we get to importing all of that. All right, so getting started. So we have a lot of decently flat land. I'll put all, put all my warships over here. We're going to need a bunch of those. And then I don't know if we're going to really do a whole lot of fishing and stuff. I don't know if we get a lot of requests. It says, I think it said, like, maybe if we fulfill requests, we'll, I don't know, maybe get money from Pharaoh or something. So I'm going to go ahead and start here and just come over. So it's two on each way. We'll put one down, so that's basically one, two, and then one, two from there. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down nine. Put one right there. We're going to go down nine more. Then I'll go up five and bring it back around. So each of these are eight, as you can see. 
Once again, I am on hard and I have global labor pool on. Which basically means that as long as I have employment in my city, um, regardless of wherever they are, they will get employment. They don't have to send out a recruiter to walk past, you know, two dirt huts. Okay, so I think that's good. And the way I want that to be is our dock will basically just go like right there. Excellent. Now, we don't have a whole lot of use for a lot of all this other stuff over here. Of course, this is our Kingdom Road right here. So, I think I'd probably like to just maybe start like right. We got plenty of land, so probably about meh, right here, I guess. Yeah, right there. That's good. I'm going to go down 17. Over 8. And back up. Since I'm not worried about 3x3 three three housing, I'm just going to go... It's basically seven, so it's one, two, one, two, three for a statue, then one, two. And it just happens to work out nicely like that. We're going to go ahead and measure that just to make sure it is seven. We can right click while we're holding it down to get rid of that. I'm going to do two loops like that so I can kind of delay on having to uh, feed people and stuff like that. All right, so we'll just do that. Get rid of that for now. And there we go. Production in a double loop with dock access. Okay. So. People, let's set up our loops first. I was thinking about doing how I'm going to set up production, but that can wait. All right, so we'll do. Architects post. Firehouse. Police. And we do have reeds, of course, so block theory. And then position right there. And then Ra was our patron deity. So we can go right there. And water. And a roadblock. Okay, let's fill that in with houses. One. So since I need to kind of hit the ground running, um, recruiter, all of that stuff, I'm going to uh, do quite a bit of housing. We'll get rid of this road later and fix it up, but for now it's okay. Oops. And the reason I build on... Uh, there's a good point. The reason I build on pause is that as soon as it spawns the walkers, you can't undo it. And I'm, like, notoriously bad about mouse clicking. Okay, so there's a relatively full loop. It's going to yell at me for... Go ahead and unpause, let people move in. And there we go. That's... There we go again. Jeez. Okay. So... And I messed that one up. That actually doesn't go there. Okay, so, I don't really see, um, hopefully trade's not too much of an issue. So what, I'm going to go ahead and pause right now, because I'm going to start looking at clay pits and such. And the dock will go right there. So basically in line with that, we're good. Okay. We'll do four for now. And then for pottery, we'll just bring it over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will put a storage yard over this way. Because remember, this road's going to disappear. Yep, we'll just do one right there. And this will accept all pottery. Now let's go to our tray, because we forgot to set that up. And we're going to go ahead and set papyrus to export one over zero pottery to export one over zero beer to export one over zero barley let's import to maintain 3200 and uh, okay 
So Barley will need a setup right here. Oh, we can just do beer. We'll accept all beer there. Which means we need another one for Barley. We'll wait till we get that. Okay. So remember, the faster you build people in, the faster you gotta get to the gods. Just something... Oh, we could do Papyrus as well. That might be better than beer. I don't think it really matters which way we go with that one. We'll do it right there. And we'll at least put two roads right there so it gets the employment. These guys. Okay. We need quite a few more people. And that should be decent. Yep. Okay, there's our barley. We'll do five for now. And then, yep, see, they're already displeased. Um, now, where do we want? You know, it's kind of cheesy. I could put it up here, but I'm not going to because people can't normally get to there. So I'll just do it over here. And when I say that, I mean I could build over there and technically with global labor pool it would work. But since I don't have any ferry or anything over there, I'm not going to do that. Cyrus and set. There we go. We're going to need another raw here in a second, so let's just actually go ahead and put one in right now. So set, Cyrus, and birdie boy. All right. Okay, so we're, we're that's going, that's going. Let's go ahead and look at our reed gatherers. We don't need typically too many of these. There's a little bit of reed gathering goes a long way. I am going to clear just enough for the reed gatherers. I'll start over here. We need three of those. And then I'll just set up. We're going to need more people. Uh oh. Uh oh, I did it again. You know what? Five is good. Five is just grand when you can't click the button. And we will be uh, feeding our people. Oh, we went. I don't know what I did to run out of money, but it's basically inevitable. All right, we are we have goods coming in. There's pottery, beer for sale. Oh, we have quite a bit of unemployment. I thought we had. I thought we had a lot less than that. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Look at that. What do you know? I forgot to do the same thing I always forget. You think I would probably learn my lesson by now, but that requires learning your lesson, and that's not going to happen. Got to love the problems. If you don't have that hotkeyed, I highly recommend it. T. Or I have mine set to T. <laughs> Um, we probably need to go ahead and put in that. I know employment now. They've bought a thousand beer so far. They haven't bought any papyrus. I gotta set that up, I think. And then in Kobe, we'll also buy beer. So we're gonna go ahead and open that one, even though we're kind of broke. What is this accepting? Barley. So this one would be a papyrus. Okay, so they lack raw materials, so... And then... They do as well. 
And we also lack employees. So that being said, I'm go ahead and do that. Now, unfortunately, we do have to, uh, of course, build these out. So architects fire. That is wrong. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Police. Fire It's not the best, but police and fire have negative desirability. It's a little bit, but. And, of course, I messed that up. So it goes right there. Let's add, now that we're in the hole a bit, we're also going to have to put in the physician and temple. But, I mean, we needed a temple anyway. One. Something here ain't right. Two. I messed that up somehow. Yes, I did. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I put these on the wrong side. Well, there would be the issue. I was like, what did I do wrong? It's been a long day. I'm recording this in the evening, so I do apologize for my mistakes. All right, we're going to do this correctly this time. In order, not a dentist. All right. That looks good. I'll put that there. That there. Okay. So, what we need to do is we also need to look at our military. Now, warship wharves stick out like that. So if we do that one over, which means we should be free to do that. And then if we put a stockyard right there, and this guy right here is going to accept all weapons and wood, and it's actually going to just accept half. And then if we put down a recruiter, an academy is expensive, man. An academy. And then at least we'll do a set of archers to get started. And we're just going to throw these guys over this way. Position, temple. People should be moving in. I didn't put water over here. Oh, I hit debt. That's fine. These missions you're kind of going to. You don't want to stay in debt, but you're going to hit debt. Okay. So we have archers going. Now I need to import copper. Which can happen. I want to say over here. Okay, we'll just, we're going to put it right there for now. And this is going to be copper. Except, and then we're going to do weaponsmith. We'll just do two of them. That usually gets me by enough. And over here, we're going to import to maintain 800 copper, uh, 800 wood. Okay. Now we need also a... I'm going to have to start thinking about feeding people here soon. Um, yeah, pretty quickly, actually. Okay, I have Nile Farmland here. Do one. 
two, three, four. We'll do four for now. Don't need to. Not at the moment. So we could do... We'll just do that for now. We're black there. There's going to be more. So this one will be... What did I plant? <laughs> Pomegranates. <laughs> That's been a long day. Pomegranates, okay. Yeah, I can see we're going to start needing more people here soon. Good thing about... The treasure bleeds money. Yes, it does. Those copper imports are expensive. So is the wood. Okay, so Papyrus is going. Let's see if we have problems. It looks like things are... Uh, what's this problem? Oh. Disconnected spawn points. It seems like it's still working, so... Alright, let's put... A Bazaar down. Alright, you know what? We'll just do two. And... Both by pomegranates. And then now I need to look at the gods. Okay, so Ra is at 3, which is 1,350. So we're low on that. Osiris is at 1, which is 900, which is bad. And Set is at 1, which is 900, which is bad. So, unfortunately, we got to sp spend money to not lose our city. We also need to have a... Once we get more money, we need to throw in a, a festival to start throwing. Yep. We have plenty of papyrus, it looks like. What is this? A uh, beer? We're just waiting on beer. Our brewery. Okay, we're getting some more money. Athens will buy papyrus. We're already doing that, so... Good. Okay. Alright, that's done. Let's... Add some more. One, two, three, four. And the reason I count these in fours is basically one work camp can s supply um, four, one, two, one, two, um, four farms. It's not the most efficient. You could technically, you probably want. Um, Another work camp? We have unemployment? Okay. Well, as I was saying, you probably want another work camp. Definitely could use some more clay. Papyrus is... We're looking good. That's four to eight. So that seems like a pretty decent one. These guys are also going to have to be like trucking way over here, as you can see. They will go over there to get it. Um, we have weapons, we have some money, which means we also have wood, good, good, which means we need to do a infantry. I don't know, you know, I've never seen if you can block these things in or not. Alright, so there's infantry, now we need to do a shipyard, and then worship wars. I'll just continue this way. Yep, we're expensive. Okay. So that is going well. We do need more clay. Um, I'm not sure where I want to get it. Can I do it here? 
I can do it here, though. Fill this guy in over here. Fix this up. So if we clean this, so and then right here, one, two, and then clean that. Can this go here? Not yet. Okay. It should be able to now, I believe. Yes, it can. Okay, so we're going to do like that. And like that. Unless I just redid what I... Okay, no, that's good. Alright. 600 Pyrus. Alright, I love how it pauses it too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that was our first request. We're doing more pomegranates, which is great. And um, we get some more money in, so let's add our favorite statues. You guys tell me in the comments what's your favorite statue, okay? I think y'all probably already know mine. I just like these because they're low. They look good, but they're low and they don't block my city. Unlike... Oh. Okay, he's going to come back with chickpeas. Cool. Cool. I mean, that's kind of useless, but whatever. Wait, can I sell it? Can I sell chickpeas? Nope. <laughs> I can import them, though. That's silly. Okay. Excellent. All right. So. More of those. Reason being that I um, plan on uh, actually using some of that pottery. We're going to like go over here. We're going to go get half beer. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. Okay, 2,000 people. Uh, two for that. That's 1,800. Two for set, 1,800. Four for raws, 1,800. So we need more temples yet again. You gotta really stay on top of these. That way you don't get messed over. Alright, we got a little extra money. We're gonna spend it on this. And then we're going to throw a festival to set. Because I would very much like, I'm gonna protect your people before you get attacked, kind of thing. Alright, and as soon as we get more money, we're gonna build another um, infantry. As soon as we get more money than that. Okay. Good enough. We are not preserving nature. Sorry, trees. Excellent. That's what we wanted for set. Thank you. I don't have to throw any more to you. Raw. You're my best buddy. Give me that trade bonus. I probably should have done that earlier. All right. Everything over here looks to be going good. Let's throw in some more. Yep. We'll undo that one. Get a little money back. Thankfully, they don't need roads. They just need a little bit of irrigation love. Now, if I put this here... That does not work.
deal with that later. Okay, plenty of pottery coming in now. Oh, actually, I want to go ahead and just extend that to, like, there. And then... Get rid of that. Okay. We need more employment. Um, well, one thing we do need is this. Where would you like to be built, Warship? Right there looks good. And then they're gonna have to go over here. I could put a fishing horse or something over there. Fire. Architect's post. Okay. Don't have enough for that. We will soon, though. There it is. Nope. Oh, we're getting kind of poor. Uh, I'm going to temporarily turn off wood and copper. I really need a blessing from Raw. If you would, please, Raw. We're at three. No, we're at five. Oh, geez. Okay, we're at five. So 2,250. Get in there again. Okay, our navy is looking good. Let's see. We have three of those, but our navy, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do four more, basically. Oh, I think we got one more to build. More unemployment. Can do. Definitely do one other one of those. Okay. There we go. So we can do three more warships. Okay, just need more weapons. Two months. Okay. We'll see how we do. One month. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we kind of beat the crap out of them. Those are two transport wharves. So they did not manage to land, which is what we want, ultimately. Um, I have a feeling that is very much enough pomegranates over there. You know what? I'm going to burn down everything else again. Because that's what I do. Yep, I almost did. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. These people look like they need some bird statues. You know what? You probably need bird statues as well. Nice. Okay, that's not what I want raw. Please, 
Please give me the blessings I want. I guess we could probably throw one to Osiris next, maybe get a double bounty on the food. I want the trade partners, we'll trade more. Okay, let's turn copper and wood back on. Not export. Import to maintain. Okay, we need culture. Working on that. Everything else should be good. I probably should have looked at what year this needs to be done. I should have had another archer, just in case. I know infantry is so much better. Uh, let's check military. Okay, we can do one more. Just need more weapons. Yeah, we didn't. We accidentally wasted food. 100%. Pottery is building up. I think we have all the trade routes open. Yep. Selling everything we can. We've already hit basically what population will need, so as long as we just relatively, like, maintain, we'll be good. Put that down. And then... Let's do... Juggler. You and you. That's going to bring in more people. Which is why we're going to do that. We'll just soak them up with farm camps and just destroy them as we need. Now oh, there's the fish. I was waiting on that. Alright, these are just... Oh, they do fire and collapse. Okay, they'll get them with that way. That works out nicely. Alright, we need a place to accept fish, too. That should work. Okay. There's our second bit of food coming in. Very nice. Yeah, let's go ahead. I forgot. Let's go ahead. We still haven't got a good blessing from Ra, but let's throw one for Osiris. What? What's going on? Oh, okay, that was weird. One month left on the fish. <laughs> that works. Okay, there's our double on that. 
So we could put in that and go ahead and tell them to buy fish and then we'll put these over here just to increase our culture. And then also, whoops, we did not extend that road far enough. We'll do one, two, and three. You can choose what if you want meadow farming or if you want. Um, okay, pottery has nowhere to go. So we could probably uh, trim these back a little bit. They want to send us wood. Thank you. All right, eight months. Ooh, eight months. That's probably going to be a pretty big battle. They give us that much of a warning, you know? Mm. No biscuits. I kind of boxed myself in there, didn't I? Set to yield. I don't think there's anywhere else I can really put these. Hmm. Problem with running a road along the top is it's going to move the entrance and exit points to these storage yards to up there, which is not really what we want. All right, let's take a look at our ratings. Prosperity is going up. Culture, dentist, senate, all that other good stuff. Let's do this. So we can delete these police houses now and put in dentists. Right. There's our culture. We're good. We just need the prosperity. Which will start going up now that the f due to the fact that um we're not really having to import as much, hopefully. Uh set. Yeah, looks like you can just stack them. That's nice. All right, so these are all filled up. Navy is pretty good. All right. The reason I'm doing fish on this one and and uh pomegranate on this one is that if not it'll just like fill it all up okay well they made it but not really okay we won awesome we just basically need to not really import anything else anymore okay three thousand let's do our festival to raw so we have four here which is 1800 four here i'm sorry that's uh 3600 3600 raw is at six which is 2700 so we're going to need another raw probably another two honestly Remember, your patron deity is just the basic amount, and then your local are double. So your patron is 450, and your local are 900 per temple. 
Looks like we got a blessing to Osiris. Yes, we did. Excellent. I will build a... Uh, Tyne Palace. Somewhere. Not there. This looks like a good swap. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we'll put tax collectors in. It's not much, but it's an honest living. Our prosperity is going pretty high up. Just need a little, we need 40, basically. So we need to, like, not import anything. But what it looks like. Uh, we might need better housing as well. That's kind of rough, because I'm selling all of the beer. Oh. Okay, Plague of Lucas. Beware of their onslaught during the next growing season. Well, then we get the fishes. Okay, let's, um... Let's do this. Beer. We're going to export one over 1,600. And then you, I'm going to tell you to... You know, not accept. Get half a beer. So now we'll we won't sell until we get stop out. I mean our money is doing fine, so Okay, trade route to Incomi has shut down. Okay. We were just selling papyrus to him, which kinda sucks. Oh god, we have a lot of unemployment. Not anymore. Alright. Pottery. So go ahead and buy pottery and beer. So remember your level of housing as well will keep your prosperity rating down. That was what the issue we had on the last mission. And they should evolve even higher. Yep, they want desirability. Which is gar or plaza. And they should want gardens basically over here. Okay, there it is. Hail to the hero of Tanis, protector of Egypt. Your glorious victories on land and on water have secured Egypt's continued independence. The once powerful Persians now quake before they speak the name of Pharaoh or Chorus. Alright guys, so we finished this in 95 months uh, with culture rating of 35, prosperity rating of 40, kingdom rating of 82, and a population of 3,582. Let's take a look. Honestly, this was a very easy mission, um, in my opinion. Everybody says it's like, oh, it's a very difficult mission and stuff. I don't know, but I, I found it to be pretty easy. Don't forget your housing uh, level over here. Um... And then, you know, your overall housing level. So if you have a bunch of slums, you can make sure. Obviously, this is a majority of all my citizens are here. Um, just farm or labor camps for employees sink. Bunch of farms over here in the water. Bunch of warships. I think I ended up, let's take a look. Uh, full contingents. I did two archers, I want to say. Yeah, two archers and uh, four infantry that were academy trained. Navy is one, two, three, four, five, six, six warships or seven warships, geez, and uh, no transport wharfs. I didn't get re any requests for troops out. And then here's all that over here, and then a line of temples because that's just an obscene amount, and I have no place to actually put those in a city. A bunch of clay. Once again, start focus on. I would focus immediately on papyrus, beer, and pottery exports ASAP. And then once you get more money going, just stay like right on the teetering of debt. And then um, just kind of keep building up. You will eventually hit a point to where like you're just not you don't keep any beer on you. So you have to do like I did and keep some for yourself. And yeah, that was it, guys. That was Tana's pretty easy mission. I hope you all are appreciating. Uh, well, I appreciate. I hope you all are liking. Sorry, it has been a long day. I hope you like the videos so far, everybody. Um, I do appreciate all the feedback and comments. And it's been so great, especially with the daily Pharaoh uploads that um for all of your support. So thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.